Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we've got another LEGO Marvel Avengers video for you. This one happens to be level 10, Lost in the Ether Free Play. And this one has a little bit higher true Avenger requirement, but it's easy peasy with our red brick stud multipliers on. We are going to get all of the collectibles available, except for the one gold brick that we already picked up for completing this level in story mode. Now, keep in mind, we are going to need a ultimate Ultron or somebody with cosmic brick abilities, as well as reptile, some digging abilities to go through. But hopefully you've already watched our preparing for free play video and you have fulfilled those requirements. That being said, if you've completed the story and you're ready to roll, go ahead and choose Let's Go to Space and look for the giant Thor head, which should just be straight up above from where you spawn up there floating around the Earth in the atmosphere. So go ahead and choose Free Play, and we'll choose the starting destination. And keep in mind, all cutscenes have been removed, and this video is slightly sped up. And ooh, look at that. Down in the bottom left-hand corner, we can see right at the beginning here, we're going to grab, well, we're going to freely, freely, freely. That's what we're going to do. And uh, it starts off with these gold stairs on our right-hand side. So we're going to go ahead and melt those with our heat ray. And uh, that will give us the, whoa, look at that. It's a great. We can go ahead and slide on in that with the vision. It turns out there's quite a few characters that do have the great ability. We're going to stick with the vision because that's the only one we required you to have. And you simply get the vision for completing the story. So easy peasy. But uh, there are a handful of other ones. Uh, I, off the top of my head, I can't remember them all. But uh, there are uh, at least four or five of them. So Mostly characters I was unfamiliar with prior to this game, so just being honest. But uh, All right, inside we've used the grate, and inside we had to destroy some silver bricks. We built those bricks up into a pressure switch, and check it, check it out. We have removed the barrier preventing Lee from getting out, and he's going to get out. And he's all happy and thanks us, and we're going to go ahead and move over to the left-hand side. And on this uh, cell over here, there's a guy that can be mind-controlled, so the Vision will get that job done as well. We're going to go ahead and make him stand on this other pressure-sensitive switch, which actually destroys this Loki statue. I think that's what that was. And uh, we're going to go ahead and stand on that switch, which actually completes the circuit and opens up that cell door and gives us access inside to that toilet. That's right, we're going to go spel spelunkin. It's more like kerplunkin. But uh, we're going to go ahead and destroy this toilet in here, and once we do, it actually pukes out a minikit. I feel sorry for the guy who tried to pass that. <laughs> Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and grab that. Make sure you wash your hands when you're done. And we're going to move a little bit down the ways here. And basically, we got some story bits. So you'll notice down below, it actually hints to go ahead and use our quick links down in the video description. Those are super handy if you're looking for maybe a, maybe you only need a character token for this level or whatever the case may be. Use those. Otherwise, pull out Thor and get your smash on. There's a kind of a cracked wall over on the right hand side, and he seems to be the only guy that can destroy that horse statue as well. So take those out, build up the old push switch. And all right, I'm going to go ahead and address this right now. This is by far my least favorite level, not because of level design, not because of the storyline, not because I don't like Thor. This level has the most pressure of any level I think we've played. There is just constant guys coming at you. No matter what part of this level you're in, there's just like five or six guys trying to kill you. And that's, that's not very awesome. TT Games, if you're listening, maybe tone it back just a little bit. I understand we're not like in a safe zone here. We are in the enemy territory. Well, I guess we're in home territory, but we have become the enemy. And, you know, that being said, you know, that, that was, other than that, this level's great. It kind of goes right along with the story, uh, other than the, uh, I don't remember them building up a uh, battling ram, battering ram, whatever you call it, but, all right, we've made our way up through the first little uh, stairway here, and inside there's a couple of silver bricks, one on the left side, one on the right, destroy them both with your favorite destructor, and uh, by that I mean the silver brick destroyer. And then go ahead and build up the bricks into a quick pad that we can switch to Quicksilver and get our little speed boost up and over. And it destroys that Loki statue up in the air, gives us some bricks to build, which we will put together. And look at that. It's another mini kit. And you didn't have to go dig in the toilet to get this one, huh? That's a little bit of a bonus. All right. We're going to fly up this stairway because, you know, walking is for, for mere mortals. And uh, once we get up in here, we see there is a cracked wall that we can take out with our hammer. 
And, you know, I struggle right here big time. I don't know if this was user error or what, but, you know, like I was mentioning, we're always under attack, and, like, somebody's always throwing something, shooting us, doing something, and it's just really frustrating. So hopefully you have an easier time than I did. Regardless, if it's easy or hard for you, fly up in the upper left-hand side of the room and make sure you grab that mini kit. I'm a little behind on the commentary there, but we'll uh, we'll smash this cracked wall with our hammer. That's right, hammer time. Whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> All right, now this is pretty cool. We actually get to take out one of those cool ships that flew over us here in a second, and uh, we do get control of Sif here. And uh, I, I do recommend, so I, I didn't take my own advice here. I kind of show you what to do, but I only kind of halfway do it. So maybe maybe step it up a little better than I did. But um, all right, there's a scan point you can see here. Choose your favorite scanner, scan it. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop. All right, we got that. Now we got these bricks that we can build up into a deflection pad. Now we know that uh, Sif has a shield just like Captain America, or similar. It's not just like, it's very different. But, the, you know, it's a shield and she can use it like Captain America. Now, here we are. We've, we've, because we've built that deflective pad, we actually have this ship flying around that we're, we're supposed to shoot and take out. But we also have this other task of taking out these, what was it, 21, 25 guys, something like that. Well, I, I would recommend actually backing up down the stairwell a little bit and using, see, here we go. Finally, I get it. Finally, I get it here. And, uh, you know, take out the guys down here. You're less likely to get shot by that spy ship, spy ship, spy ship. But, uh, all right, so once you get all those guys from the counter removed, the door blows open, and this weird vortexy thing, I don't know if it's, <laughs> I don't know if it's sucking or blowing, but it's pushing stuff around, and, uh, anyhow, we'll move on from that, and, uh, a whole nother little group of bad guys comes in. We suggest taking those guys out, too, before trying to get on this deflection pad, but, all right, whew. All of those guys, we actually get a break from those guys for a half a second, but we're still being attacked from the sky. So we're going to hop on that pad by pressing the icon indicated with the shield character. Captain America would also work here. And we're just going to reflect these pew pew pews back up there. And hopefully you'll have an easier time than I did of taking it. It looks like you have to hit him three times. It's that rule of three, but once you take him out, he leaves that mini kit conveniently just out of reach in the middle of the area here. So we'll go ahead and fly up and grab it. And uh, all right, so full disclosure here, I was looking at my notes and I misread them. I don't know why I misread them, but it, it actually says something along the lines of uh, as soon as you enter the new room on your left. But somehow I read it as now as soon as you enter the new room, return and go back on your left. So I whoopsie totally messed that up. And then to make things worse, I totally like spend a bunch of time being curious because there was no notes on this on Dougie's guide. So I know a lot of you guys have said, oh, they're studs and this and that. But I wasn't sure how much studs. W OK, well, what about these? Are these just studs, too? Well, these seem like they're kind of important up here. Here, but there's nothing in my notes about him, so I'm trying to take him out with my flying heat ray, and I'm having a heck of a time targeting anything but that weird little. Look at that! I, I cannot target anything but that little. Uh, I don't know what it was. It looked like a little fire pit, or a, I don't know, fire, fire, or something. But I melt it, and it's just disappointingly studs. And then I make my way over to the left side. And I'm like, God, they can't both be studs. And I'm like, Wait, does this just let me in? No. Nope. Here's a here's the best piece of advice that you can take. Use the quick leaks. No, I'm just kidding. We're almost to the end of this nonsense. We're actually going to make our way in through that door here in a second. And once we get in there, um, we're going to actually head off over to the left-hand side and stamp out some fire. So remember that fire I was looking for just on that? Yeah, we're almost there. I promise. And uh, all right, so here we go. We got Sif. We got our fire stomper. And we're going to go ahead and move on through into this new room here. Once we get in, we can see what's his name, take off, and he's definitely got his tail between his legs right now. And uh, anyhow, we're going to go ahead and pay close attention to this fire on the left-hand side. We're going to stamp it out, again, doing Smokey the Bear, uh, big old service here, and, uh, you know, only you can help prevent forest fires. And if you're... Don't, if you're not familiar with Smokey the Bear, maybe you're too young, or maybe somewhere else from somewhere else and they didn't have Smokey there, uh, look it up. Google it. It's, uh, it's kind of a national pastime, I think, for the old U.S. of A. But anyhow, uh, moving on. Over in the back right corner of this area, you're going to see a ton of glowing bricks through these little uh, boxes and whatnots. Is. We're going to go right past those, and there's this ship that's crashed. And below it, there's an, actually an Avenger scan point. So pull out your favorite scanner again, and we're going to scan to reveal. Look at that. It's a shield access terminal, and lucky for us, our scanner is also uh, a... 
an employee of S.H.I.E.L.D., an approved employee, that is, and uh, our scan is approved. We get this little crane comes up out of nowhere and drills, and guess what? It gives us some bricks. We're going to build those up, even though it's kind of hard to tell what's going on because there's guys attacking us for crying out loud. All right, so we got another mini kit there. And uh, up here, there's some silver bricks. I thought, okay, some more silver. They really put, put me through the ringer on this one because uh, I kept I kept taking the bait. And I don't need no studs. There's no reason for Look how many studs I got. Are you kidding me? And here I am again. Ooh, there's a Hydra logo. I better see what that is. I scanned studs. <laughs> All right, moving along. This is another one of those moments where there's a few minutes of story-based stuff. Uh, if you want to skip this and get right to the collectibles, feel free to use the quick links. It certainly won't hurt our feelings. But, uh, all right, if you're hanging out, we're going to see there's some bricks that we can uh, build up after destroying all of the glowing bits that we discussed earlier. And uh, then this dude comes in and throws one of those vortex grenades, kind of imploding and sucking a bunch of stuff. I don't know where it takes it, but... Somebody's going to be really upset because they're just going to be sitting there watching TV and then like, blah, blah, like all of a sudden all these weird Lego bricks are going to drop down. <laughs> all right, but there's kind of this rule of three here. Uh, we see some bricks hit the ground uh, on the left-hand side, so we build those up, and we pretty much got our battering ram here. And uh, you'll know it's complete when you can walk up and find the triangle or probably Y icon, depending on which console you're playing on. Again, none of you Wii Uers have told me any of those buttons. Same with PC. Assuming this is on PC, I haven't even done my homework on that. But All right, so there's Mr. Scary. I don't really find him that scary, but uh, with a, n a name like Curse, you'd think he'd be a little scarier. I guess in Lego form, he's kind of, kind of easy-peasy and... I don't know, not so scurry. In 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 the movie, he's a little bit more uh, threatening, I guess. All right, so we've got a handful of things we're going to do in this area. We're, we First of all, we built up, we smashed and built up some bricks into what is a hammer and chisel. And you can see that we need some telekinetic abilities there. It's kind of hinting that we use the Scarlet Witch. But we're going to pass on that for at least just a second or two. And again, gah, all these guys just attacking us. I mean, it just never stops. But we're going to switch on over to Ultimate Ultron and head to the back right middle of the section here. And look at that, some cosmic bricks we can manipulate and we can grab that mini cup. And just over to the right, if you kind of hug that back upper wall there, follow it along, you'll actually find another Avenger scan point. So lots of scanning going on here. And uh, once you get a, get a break from getting attacked and get a scan going... You actually find the four points, and it reveals... What is it? Wait for it. Wait for it. More bad guys. <laughs> yeah, well, not only more bad guys, but it's also a digging spot. So uh, we warned you at the beginning you needed a digger. So we're going to go ahead and dig up with our digger. And look at that. We've got seven mini kits total. And uh, we're going to make our way right around the right-hand side here. And guess what? We have some of those kind of uh, glass, blue glassy bricks that uh, we need some sonar, well, some sort of sonarage. Whether it's an arrow or whatever you got, feel free to use it. And uh, we're going to use Hawkeye and his special sonar arrow. So get your on and destroy that glass. Go ahead and get in there and grab that character token, which happens to be the second one. And, oops, you know, I forgot to mention who the first one was, but that one was Curse. The first character token looks like was Hogan? Not sure who Hogan is. I know who Hogan's Heroes is, but I don't... Hogan? Maybe it's... I don't know. It's just H-O-G-A-N, so it's got to be Hogan. Maybe? Did I say that right? No. It's H-O-G-U-N. Hogan. All right. I don't know. That sounds suspect, but... All right, before actually hitting the uh, hammer and chisel and all of that, you're going to want to make sure you go to the back. There's this little gold spot, and you're going to melt that and find a mini kit. And all right, so now you can actually use the hammer and chisel to take out. See, we've already used it, but we're going to use the hammer to go ahead and smack this big statue back and not curse on his, well, you know what I'm saying. All right, so now we've got some telekinetic stuffs that needs to be done, and, uh, oh, he's returned, and this time he's got an imploding grenade. As if he wasn't uh, big and scurry enough, he's got big, bad weapons, too. But, uh, all right, so hold on tight, ladies and gentlemen. you got to hit that button over and over. Uh, for us, it was circle, and, uh, gosh, this seems like it goes on forever. It's got to be, like, 25, 30 seconds. But, of course, we've got this sped up, so it does go by a little faster in the video. But uh, some stuff just kind of falls from the sky, and lucky for us, we can build it up into something awesome. It looks like it's a big ol' oh, look at that. It's a shovel and a bucket. And, uh, you know, uh, we could certainly build a sandcastle if you guys got time. Actually, I don't know. I don't think we can really do that, but 
Uh, sorry to build up false hope there, and uh, but regardless, let's go ahead and get to the back, and we can do some some more digging. This is of a much larger scale. In fact, uh, this requires telekinetic powers, not a digging character. Uh, but uh, all right, so there are three scoops here, and uh, that's how I get my ice cream at Baskin and Robbins. Is three scoops, baby. Now, actually, I get milkshakes. If I'm being honest, I really do. I get I get yummy milkshakes. Usually having half of it being uh, that Love Potion 31. Anybody else drink that Love Potion 31 milkshake? Woohoo! Anyways, all right. Uh, it's almost over too. It's seasonal. We're and, and I'm date, time dating this video here big time. But uh, it's it's like the you know Valentine flavor for them. And uh, usually you can find it as early as January, and it usually leaves by like March or April. So. If you got a Baskin Robbins 31 flavors near you, and you like ice cream, and you're not lactose intolerant like I am, see, it's bad news that I go there, but it's it's just so good. Once it tastes your lips, or once it hits your lips, it just tastes so good. Boy, I botched that one, huh? Whew. Anybody know what movie that's from? <laughs> that's a classic. All right. Um, all right, here we go. We have built up some pieces from those bricks that we did the old uh, sand castling with. And uh, now we've got uh, a little shock panel on the back. So use Thor and his hammer to go ahead and pomp, pomp, pomp it up. And then it does a nice little one hopper right off the top of Curse and uh, takes off into another area. And uh, it seems like that's going to be the end of him. But nope, he comes up and gets all up close and personal. But guess what? We actually remove him for the final time right here. So we don't have to deal with him anymore after this. Rapidly hit the button flashing over your head, and once you successfully complete that, it'll take us into a cutscene that we have edited out. And look at that. We're right in the new area, ready to make things happen. And it uh, looks like, I think that's, is that just one of the minions, or is that actually Malekith? But anyhow, Thor and I believe Malekith disappear, and we find ourselves with a helicopter that's on fire. And we're going to skip right past that and go all the way to the back, and there's some silver blocks. Silver blocks. Go ahead and destroy those, and it looks like... I could be wrong, but is that, and I, you know, I'm not the best when it comes to Marvel information, but is that Thanos' glove? Is that who that is, maybe? I don't know. Tell me down below in the comments if I'm totally wrong. I'm sure you guys will tell me, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, that's right. But uh, anyhow, there's a giant glove. It's going to uh, shake things up, or, or shake it up, ooh, ooh. And uh, drops a mini kit for us, and that leaves only one mini kit, which, as you can tell on your screen, happens to be real close by as well. So we're gonna head over to the left-hand side, and look at that—it's a red tortoise. Where's the doctor? All right, well, I guess it's not a blue tortoise. I get it, Hoovians. I get it. I already feel your comments. I feel your little fingers typing away. I know it's a blue tortoise, but hey, I'm trying to kind of cross things over. I'm trying to be like Lego Dimensions for you on the commentary side of things. All right, there's another red TARDIS, and keep following along the front path after grabbing that mini kit. Of course, you saw me use the grapple hook to rip that open. Uh, but, oh, look at that. It's the collector. And, ooh, his, you know what? I, I might have to do a video of this. If this video gets, let's say, 1,000 likes, that's, that's a little bit ridiculous for us. But if it gets 1,000 likes, I will do a video. Of, I will try to do my best collector dance. And, and we'll see how that goes. So... You spread the word. Get your friends and your family like this video, and and eventually you'll see. And if you get two thousand likes, I'll make Dougie do it too. That's right, Dougie. So all right, he needs a cup for his tea, and we're gonna go ahead and use telekinesis to uh, manipulate the trunk right across from him. We go ahead and get the item he needs, which is a little cup, and we hand it on over. He gets his tea, and we get a red brick. Wee. All right, so look, ooh, we got one more character token coming up, and that's going to wrap it up for the collectibles and for this video, pretty much. We do have a little bit of a fight scene left in. I'm going to incorrectly show you how to get this next one. So I was, you know, uh, the, the, the guide that Dougie put out says, you know, put out the fire. So, you know, me being me, I forget all about the fact that there's this story element here that over kind of on the front right side, there's some bricks that you destroy and you build up a hose and like a sprinkler. And then all of a sudden you get a techno panel and you actually put out the fire and kind of water the grounds, which also raise three flowers up, which is what we need. We need those three flowers. So, look at me. I'm totally dumbfounded right now. The fire's out, and, and as the guide reads, it says, you know, as soon as you destroy, it'll give the the, the flowers. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, where, where are the flowers? I don't see. I put out the fire. And then, so I'm, like, getting all sketched out right now, flipping the switch, thinking, 
Oh, no, I'm going to have to do this level all over again. And I don't want to talk about it, but I had to do this level over again because I made a mistake. So it would have been a third one for me. And I know that Lego usually works in the rule of three, but I often try to prevent myself from doing more than I have to. So, so as I continue with the level story bits here, I'm still in the back of my head going, oh, man, am I really going to have to start this over again? And so I go over here and I do this scan in the middle and look at that Malekith comes out and I'm really starting to panic because Thor's back now too and I'm like taking hearts off of Malekith and I'm like there's only one item needed left and guess what all you need to do is go to the front right corner over here and destroy these bricks that have glowing bits and look at that all of a sudden I see them. And no, it's like there's a light at the end of the tunnel, but really they're just coming from the crash chopper parts. And I smash them, and I rebuild them, and I get my sprinkler, and right now you have no idea. I was dancing, literally, dancing, dancing, dancing. And uh, my wife was like, what is going on up there? Because she could hear my footsteps. And uh, I had hollered right before that, too. A little little disappointment hollering, you know, maybe one of those not safe for work moments, you know, or, or for the children kind of moments. And uh, and then she heard me dance, and she wasn't sure if I, like, fell over and had a heart attack or what. But, all right, smash the boxes, build the sprinkler, head to the techno panel, get your oomphs, oomphs, oomphs on, and make it rain from that sprinkler, and look at that. Push them little daisies, won't you grow up? That's right. I, I think I nailed it a little better than the first one. I did that in the story version, too. It's an old Ween song. But uh, All right, take out all three of the flowers. It'll give you that third and final character token. And because we already freed Lee, freed Lee, and spoke to the collector, got that red brick, and all ten mini kits, that wraps it up. So uh, if you guys are in a hurry, feel free to hit that start or options button. Take you to the save and quit feature and uh, that'll take you to the final total screen but uh, otherwise you're gonna have to go ahead and take Malekith out for the final time and then um, yeah and then that'll depending on how you played these levels um, you know when we played the story levels we did 1 through 7 and then we did 11 through 15 because that's how the story takes you it's for some reason it skips over these levels and then re-includes them and it's really weird you look at the trophy achievement list they're all in order but it doesn't go in that order but we decided in the free play, we might as well just go in that order because it's not taking us out of our way. Let's just do them. So <laughs> you might be completing this last. This might be your last one. And, you know, congrats. Hopefully you're getting that platinum trophy or that thousand G, depending on where you are. What does Wii U have? Does Wii U have something awesome? I mean, that's I feel like that's another thing that, that I don't know enough about. And that's one of the reasons why I don't own one of those Wii U's. It's like the only console I haven't bought in like the last 20 years. Um, I think the Turbo Graphics was like the last console I didn't own, but um, yeah, that's right. That's going back a bit. Think about it. Uh, I don't own them all anymore. I'm not as cool as Doug. Doug's got a lot of them. I, I'll give him credit. The youngsters got a pretty nice collection of consoles. In fact, we should Instagram that. You need to pull all that stuff out, Dougie, and, and give us give our give our viewers a little taste of what's uh, what you what you got up your sleeves there. He even has one of those 20th anniversary PS4s unopened in the box. That's right. You better hide your address, Dougie. People are going to be stalking you soon. <laughs> All right, we're in the final battle with Malekith here. I've totally sidetracked myself, but uh, we have to take out a certain number of bad guys. I believe the magic number was 20. I could be wrong, but I'm not going to go back and look. All right, we've got this final little segment here where Malekith is blasting us with looks like magma, some liquid hot magma. But uh, we're going to fire back with them some electricity. Simply uh, press and hold the first button and then rapidly press the second button and then watch him go up there and pow him right in the kissa, which takes us right into the final screen. And guess what? Level 10 lost in the ether free play is now complete. Pat yourself on the back if you're doing it in order. That should be 100 mini kits that you've collected so far. We're on level 10. There's 10 per level. You do the math. That's a lot of mini kits. And uh, we're, we're almost in what we would call the home stretch. Not quite, but we're getting there. We certainly got that true Avenger status for getting them studs. We also got three characters unlocked for getting those character tokens. See, I told you Hogan was one of them. And uh, we also got the red brick unlock. You know, I wish it told us which brick it was right here just to verify because we had a little flub -up on our guide there and uh, got some mixed up on one of our videos. So uh, I try not to talk about them too much, but I'm pretty sure that was the old Stan Lee in Peril Detector. All 10 mini kits got us the Mighty Thor comic because this was the uh, Thor, what is it, the Dark World 
uh, homage level. So, anyhow. All right. Uh, moving along. You know what this screen means. That's going to wrap it up for LEGO Marvel Avengers Level 10 Lost in the Ether Free Play. And, uh, hey, guys, we are having a blast with this. Hopefully you are, too. We're trying to get these videos out as fast as we can. But we've also got other things we're doing, too. So bear with us as we uh, kind of take our time, as it might seem. <laughs> anyhow, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below if you guys have any questions or suggestions or maybe even a request for us. Of course, HappyThumbsGaming.com has all of our trophy achievement guides as well as our product and gaming reviews. We also have some other things over there just for you. All right, well, I think that's going to do it, so uh, I'll go ahead and cut it here. As always, until next time, hopefully I'm on. I can't hear the music, actually, so <laughs> we'll have to see how that works out. And on that note...